Hi everybody, Steve here. I've got another quick little video. I want to give you just a few ideas. I'm working on an acrylic painting right now. Um, I know a lot of you probably are thinking, when is he going to teach about watercolor? Sorry, I have not gotten to that yet, but I will. Uh, I've actually done some oil paintings and now I'm finishing an acrylic. Um, so anyway, this is a acrylic on a smooth panel. It's made by Ampersand, uh, an American company that makes uh, art panels and it's called their gesso I'm sorry it's not their gesso board I use that for my oil paintings this is called their clay board it's very smooth and it's an, an absorbent ground it actually has clay in the ground it uh, sounds kind of weird but basically it's a very smooth surface and I like painting it for the, the very fine detail uh, anyway this panel it's a 14 by 11 panel I'm doing an acrylic I'm about three quarters of the way done and I want to give you a couple of quick tips about using photo references. This is a photo reference, this is the painting, and if you'll notice I printed the photo the same exact size. Um, that's a really handy thing to do because you can compare directly everything that you're working on instead of having to you know, make it bigger or smaller in your head. Another thing in general is just use as big a photo as you can. Some of the workshops I've done when students bring art and they show me this painting and then they show me this tiny little snapshot they're using as a reference I say don't do that that is so much uh, more difficult so blow up the photos as big as you can I have my own printers so I can blow them up as big as I can and you know at a certain point they start to get a little bit blurry but blow them, blow them up as large as you can so that you can see what's going on very simple advice I'm amazed at the number of people who don't do that they're using a tiny little photo and then it's a frustrating process. So that's thought number one. Thought number two is make the photo the same exact size. It gives you something to, to reference. Um, and then the third idea is something new I just tried. Um, if, you, if you hear me talk very much, you'll hear me always talking about getting your colors right and getting your values right. You can actually get your colors a little off in some cases, but if your values are right, it'll still work out okay. Um, I'm not gonna get into that. I mean. You want your colors to be cool enough or warm enough as opposed to uh, you know, the right red or the right green. It's, it's all about the feeling of warmth and of, of uh, shadow. Anyway, that's another topic. But um, in, in, in this case, there's a lot of neutral tones in these snows, and they're, they're kind of hard to figure out, especially um, this little white strip around the edge actually can really throw you off. So what I did was uh, a couple of things. I printed it out again. I cut off the, the white. And then I cut it into strips so that I can actually place it right on top of the painting and I can compare it without any interference from a little piece of white around the edge or anything like that. And I can, I can now step back and evaluate. And in the case of the snow and in the sky here especially, I can see I've got the value of the snow just dead on. Uh, I'm not a slave to a photograph, so in other words, if I thought, eh, this photograph's a little too light, a little too dark, I can adjust that but I can't make those adjustments if I can't evaluate what I'm doing uh, effectively and objectively. So in the case of laying this piece of paper on top, I can see that it's very close in values. Then I look at this house here, I can see it's not cool enough. It's a little bit too light and a little bit too warm. Um, so uh, I can compare what's going on over here, what's, what's on over here directly. And then I cut some even thinner strips here when I was working on the sign, just holding up this painting I mean, this photograph to the painting, so it's a little bit hard to see, you know, what's going on with this little spot right here. So by cutting out a piece, I can lay it right next to it. And uh, that really helps me to see the values. It helps me to, to uh, evaluate the color. Is it too warm? Is it too cool? Is it too orange? Is it too uh, magenta? All those questions can be asked much easier when you're comparing them as close as possible. And then this last piece I did over here. So I can compare, like I can see the values of this brick and this brick are very close right now. The values and the, uh, the coolness of it. Whereas this part of the brick over here, I have it quite a bit lighter. And that's just something I'm still working on. I'm doing layers. Uh, when I'm painting an acrylic like this, I'm painting very thin. It's so thin that even when you get up close, you don't see any texture at all. Very much like my watercolors. However, there are some advantages to doing the acrylic as opposed to a watercolor. Especially the ability to add more opaque layers. It's very thin. It is opaque, but it's a very thin opaque. It's similar to what I do in watercolor, but it has its drawbacks and it has its benefits. So I'll talk about that in another video. But for now, I just recommend 
make your photos big. If possible, make the photos the exact same size. Sometimes that doesn't work because the photos, um, a lot of my paintings are not referenced from just one photo. There's multiple photos, so I can't just print one photo. Uh, but in this case, one photo is the main reference for the whole thing. And then this idea of actually looking at pieces of it and being able to compare them as directly as possible uh, is huge. This is not uh, magic. People think, you know, somehow you're gifted with the ability to create realistic art. And I, I, I totally believe I, I've been gifted with this, but it's a lot of hard work and a lot of careful thought as well. So all these little tips are things that I've developed to help me make them as good as possible. Okay, that's all for now. Talk to you soon. Thanks.